Hey everybody, if you want to use your iPad as a photo frame like I use mine that can't be opened, can't be turned off, and will show off your photos, then I'll show you how to do it right now. And this is super simple, only takes a few steps to go through and I'll walk you through each of them right now. So grab your iPad and uh, you can follow along with me. First thing you're going to do is go into your settings, we're going to go into our brightness and display and make sure that our auto lock is turned on to never and I'll show you why in a second. Um, we'll next go up to general and go into accessibility. You're going to want to scroll down to guided access. We're going to want to make sure guided access is on and then our mirror display auto lock is on as well. We turned our uh, auto lock on never and then this mirror display auto lock is going to mirror that our guided access will show you what that means in a minute as well. Once we've got those turned on, we're going to go into our photos and I've pulled up an album here uh, in our shared albums. And the reason I do shared albums is because I can share it uh, with my iPhone and take photos on my iPhone and almost instantaneously upload them onto uh, my iPad without having to plug anything in or message anything. I just add my photos from my iPhone into a shared album that I have shared with uh, the same iTunes account. So really uh, recommend doing that if you want to save time and consistently add photos into your iPad. We'll open up a album here. I've got a bunch of clients and reviews that I like to have on display at my desk and we'll turn on a slideshow here and I've got some happy customers with a new car and how I'm going to enable the guided access is with uh, the home button. I'm going to triple click it three times. What that's going to allow you to do is turn off all touch functionality on the iPad so that people can't uh, get into your other information on your iPad. So we'll enable, well actually let me show you what it is without the guided access. You can get in and out of the get in and out of the slideshow, you can do whatever you want. Um, the triple click, one, two, three, guided access started. Now my iPad is untouchable basically. If I hit the home button, it's gonna pop up a little reminder that guided access is turned on. If I try and turn the power off, it's going to not allow me to do that. And then to get out of guided access and to also adjust what you want, we'll type in our code. And over in the bottom left, there's an options tab here. We'll press that. I don't want the touch feature turned on. So if I turn it back on, you'll see now the screen is uh, able to be operated. Touch, you turn it all off. All right, and then we'll resume our slideshow here and you're good to go. I hope that's helpful. And I hope if you have uh, been struggling, like it took me a few hours to figure out all of this, you probably shouldn't have, but I hope this is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.